Okey, macam mana kita nak selesaikan soalan 51? Soalan 51 dia bagi 95% by mass of sulfuric acid. So, this is the solution of sulfuric acid. So, solution is consists of solute and solvent. And then, given the density of the solution of sulfuric acid is 1.84 gram per mil. Now, uh, what can we do uh, with the percentage by mass? But first of all, uh, we look at the question. Question asks to find the molarity of the sulfuric acid. We write down the formula of sulfuric acid, which is the mole of sulfuric acid, uh, which is the mole of solute sulfuric acid, and then volume of solution of sulfuric acid in liter. Okay, now do we have the number of mole of sulfuric acid? We don't have. And then the volume of solution also don't have. Okay, now by using the information given, the percentage by mass and the density, what can we assume by this information given? We can assume uh, because given in the percentage by mass, so we can assume that 100% of the solution is 90% uh, uh, is the solute and the remaining is the solvent. So, uh, 95 gram is 95% of the solution. Uh, 90, we assume that the sol total solution is 100 gram So 95 gram is the sulfuric acid solute While the remaining 5 gram is H2O solvent Next is uh, since we get the mass of sulfuric acid solute We can find the number of mole of solute sulfuric acid Where 95 gram divided by the molar, uh, molar mass uh, that is 0 0.969 mole of sulfuric acid. Okay, substitute here. Next, how to find the volume of the solution? When we have the mass of the solution, we also have the density of the solution. Now, let's break this density formula. Density formula, uh, density given is density solution. Density solution of sulfuric acid is equal to mass of sulfuric acid solution per volume of sulfuric acid solution. Okay, density given is 1.84 gram per mil. So, this is 100 gram sulfuric acid solution. Mass of sulfuric acid solution over volume. What is the volume? Volume uh, of the sulfuric acid solution. So, we don't know the volume. Substitute, we get the volume is 54.35 uh, mil. Okay, remember that uh, our formula is in gram per mil, so our volume also in mil. Then we can convert to liter, which is 0 0.05435 liter. After that, we substitute the volume into the formula of molarity, then we will get uh, the molarity is 17.83 molar. Next, next question is. Uh, to the volume of the acid needed to prepare 0 0.8 molar 0 0.8 molar sulfuric acid that's mean the concentrated our concentrated sulfuric acid just now we calculate the molarity is 17.84 molar okay and then um, we need to take the small amount of this concentrated solution of sulfuric acid to dilute to form a new solution, diluted solution with 1 liter and then uh, the concentration that we want to produce is 0 0.08 molar. So initially it is 17.83 and then finally after dilute it should be 0 0.08. So question asks how much this concentrated that we should take to dilute to get this volume and this concentration. There are two ways. Uh, the first one is uh, we assume that what we take, the number of moles that we take uh, in the concentrated will present the same number of moles of the sulfuric acid in the diluted. Okay, so what can we calculate is uh, when we know the, the volume and the concentration, we can find the number of moles of the sulfuric acid present in the diluted solution which is by substituting into the formula uh, 0 0.08 molar and 1 liter, we will get 0 0.08 mole 
of sulfuric acid solute. That means in this diluted solution, there are 0.08 mole of sulfuric acid in this diluted. That means we need to take 0.08 mole of this concentrated solution to bring to this volumetric flask for dilution. Okay, but the question is, this 0.08 mole of sulfuric acid uh, contain in what volume? So, the question asks to find this volume. Since we know the number of mole and then we know the molarity, we only need to find the volume. So, 0.08 volume, uh, 0.08 mole of Concentrated sulfuric acid in 17.83 molar is equal to 4.48 exponent negative 3 liter. It's equal to 4.4868 mil. So, it's very small amount to take from this concentrated so that we can dilute here. So, the answer to uh, the volume that we need to take from the concentrated is 4.48 mil only. Or, since the number of mole presents uh, that we take from the concentrated will be the same with the number of mole of uh, the presents in the sulfuric acid solution diluted, then we can use the formula because N equal to M1V1 or the number of mole diluted or the number of mole is the same N equal to M2V2. Therefore, M1V1 equal to m 2 V2 means the number of mole of sulfuric acid diluted equal to the number of mole of um, uh, sulfuric acid that we should take from the concentrated one. So substitute everything, then we will get the volume of unknown volume from the concentrated is. 4.4 so we can use uh, either we use the traditional method or the simplified one okay this one is come from here okay next question 52b 52 oh sorry 52a for this question 52a uh, the two isotope given is bromine 79 and bromine 81 the abundance given for each Isotope is 49% for this uh, isotope, while the second isotope, bromine 79, is 51%. It is the percentage abundance, means the total abundance, uh, berapa banyak ni, total ni adalah 100%. So, question us to determine the uh, relative atomic mass. But first of all, uh, question us to find the isotopic notation so we write down the element bromine bromine the first one is the uh, proton number proton number so isotope should have the same proton number but different neutron number so here is the nucleon number nucleon number as we know it is the total number of proton and neutron so we call it as nucleon number so then this one uh, nucleon number is uh, the total mass of uh, okay sorry the total um, number of proton plus neutron it's also known as the mass mass number okay atomic mass number okay now question us to find the relative atomic mass relative atomic mass is um, okay, this this is the isotopic notation done. Okay, next is relative atomic mass. It's referred to the average mass of atomic, uh, atomic uh, the average of atomic mass. Okay, so sebab kita nak kira dalam calculation kita, kita nak ambil berat bromine yang mana. Tak adil untuk ambil brom, berat bromine 79 atau bromine 81. So to be fair, kita pun ambil average orang ni. Average antara isotop. So, since kita ada dua jenis isotop BR, kita bahagilah kepada dia punya berapa banyak abundance dia. Okay, masuk dalam formula which is 79 adalah berat bromin 79 times 51% berapa banyak bromin 79 ni. Ada 51%. Tambah dengan isotop yang kedua adalah 81 berat dia darab dengan 49%. Okay, divide by total bromine yang kita ada 
Okay Sebab dia percentage abundant 100% So you, kita akan dapat berat Average mass bagi bromin adalah 79.98 AMU Disebabkan kita perlu mencari relative atomic mass Relative mean relate So kita nak relate dengan carbon Okay Which is the mass of the uh, Average mass of the bromine Divide by 1 over 12 uh, mass of carbon So 1 over 12 times mass of carbon is 12 AMU. So cancel AMU and AMU. This one is uh, cancel the 12, 12. So we we'll get the 79.98. Okay. So relative atomic mass, we already cancel the unit. So it has no unit. Next, the next question is question 52B. Uh, it's quite uh, complex, but it's not difficult. Okay. For question 62B, what is the question? Um, right, the reagent bottle contains of 0.9% stock solution. Okay, next, um, calculate the mole fraction. Okay, and then given the density of the solution is 1 gram per centimeter cubic. Okay, so how to solve it? What does we understand from this 0.9% by mass? So, we uh, again, we assume the 100% of mass of the solution is 100 gram. That means 0.9% NaCl is 0.9 gram solute NaCl. While the remaining is the solvent, which is the water, 99.1 gram uh, water. Okay, mole fraction is the mole of NaCl or uh, our desired uh, mole uh, divide by the total mole of component. The component that present in NaCl solution is the NaCl and water. That means mole fraction of NaCl is the mole of NaCl per mole of the species in the NaCl, which is mole NaCl and mole water. How to find the mole of NaCl since we don't have the we don't have the number of mole. We can find from our assumption 0 0.9 gram is equal to 5.5, sorry, 0 0.0154 mole of NaCl. While water 99.1 gram is 5.5056 mole water. After that, we can substitute here. Mole of NaCl per mole total. So the mole fraction will be 0 0.0028 um, without unit because it's fraction. Okay, that is the mole fraction of um, NaCl. Next question is what is that? Mm, is the molar read molality NaCl solution. So, molality NaCl solution is the mole of NaCl per mass of solvent in kilogram. Okay, previously we already calculate the mole of NaCl 0 0.0154 mole divided by the mass of water. Mass of water is 99.1 gram divided uh, by 1000 because we want to produce, uh, we want in kilogram so it is 0 0.16 molal or mole per kg that is the unit of molality okay seterusnya apa benda volume of the stock solution required to prepare 100 ml of 0 0.01 molar and acl so dalam ni berapa mole dia hmm. okay so, kita boleh kira lah. Kita nak ambil daripada stock solution ni berapa mol. Okay. Kita boleh kira macam ni. N equal to MV. Yang dalam yang diluted sulfuric acid ni adalah mol itu 0.01 molar darab dengan 1 liter sama dengan 0. One exponent negative three mole and ACL in diluted. Okay, berapa banyak kita nak ambil volume dalam ni? 
You boleh kira um, Because density given Is What is it? Where is the density given? 1 gram 1 gram Per centimeter cubic Okay Okay so back to our uh, solution just now we assume it is 100 gram so this 100 gram is equal to what volume okay we know the density and then we know the mass we can determine what is the volume of this stock solution okay so we use the formula this is density of solution this so density of solution equal to uh, mass of solution in gram per volume of solution in centimeter cube. Okay, because this one is one gram centimeter cubic, and this one is what is the mass? Hundred gram and volume unknown so the volume is 100 centimeter cubic ataupun ml okey sekarang kita boleh cari apa kat dalam ni oh molarity molarity yang pekat ni molarity yang pekat ini adalah kosong point mana dah tadi hmm Kosong point kosong satu lima empat mol per volume dia adalah kosong point satu. Ini sama dengan kosong point satu liter. So kita dapat molariti dia adalah kosong point satu lima empat mola. Okay, so ini yang pekat ataupun stop solution. So kita nak dilute pergi kat sini. Okay, pergi kat sini. Volume uh, mol yang kita nak tu, yang kita nak ambil daripada pekat ni adalah sebanyak-banyak ni punya mol. Okay, so since kita dah dah tahu dah mol apa semua, berapa volume kan? N equal to MV. Okay, uh, berapa you nak ambil tadi? Hmm. Okay, N dah tahu, number of mole dah tahu, vol, molarity dah tahu, volume. Kita nak cari volume. Berapa banyak kita patut ambil kan? So, dalam berapa volume ni ada uh, volume equal to um, the number of mole over molarity. Mole dia tadi, yang kita kira tadi, yang kita nak untuk dicairkan tu ada berapa mole? Ada 1 exponent negative 3 mole NaCl. Okey, menjadi kepekatan dia. Okey, kita nak ambil daripada mana tadi? Kita nak ambil daripada yang pekat. Okey, yang pekat ni 0.0.154 mola. Oops. Mola. So, bagi 0.154. So, it will be 6.49 exponent negative 3 liter hmm. times 1000 is equal to 6.49 uh, ml so from the concentrated where is the gambar ini. dalam concentrated ini Kita ambil 6.49 ml sahaja. Lalu kita dilutekan. Yang pekat 6.49 je kita masukkan dalam ni. Selain daripada tu kita letak air. Cairkan sampai kita dapat 100 ml 0.01 mola. Okay. Ataupun kaedah lain adalah yang pekat tadi. Okay. Menggunakan density ni. Mana density tadi? Menggunakan density tadi, kita dah tahu dah uh, 1 gram centimeter cubic ni untuk 1 gram, 100 gram solution after we assume. So, by using this density formula, our volume of solution is 100 ml. So, we calculate the molarity. Okay, so molarity dia adalah 0.154.
Okay. So, M pekat adalah M1 0.1. Okay. This alternative method. 154 mula. And then volume unknown. Berapa banyak nak ambil? Okay. Banyak ni nak ambil. Kita nak cairkan supaya jadi molariti dia 0.0. 0.01 mula dan volume dia pula menjadi 100 ml. Ha. So, kita gunakan M1 V1 equal to M2 V2. Mol pekat adalah 0.154 darab volume unknown. So, Mol cair 0.01 darab volume dia adalah 0.1 liter. So, volume dalam unit liter, tekan-tekan-tekan kalkulator sama tak jawapan dia? 0.01 darab 0.1 bahagi 0.154. So, you akan dapat 6.4935 eksponen negatif 3. Ini volume dalam liter. Sebab ni liter. So, ini pun dalam liter, liter, liter. Kita ubah dia kepada uh, ml by times 1000, 6.4935 ml. Okay. So, jawapan ini sama dengan Kaedah yang kita buat kat atas ni. Tak kisah guna kaedah mana. Guna kaedah yang kita buat. Perbandingan mul tadi pun boleh. Ini pun boleh. Alright.